Like when people come to me and they're like, Brad, teach me what to say. I'm like, go, go, go sign up with Andy. Andy will teach you what to say. Okay. I'll teach you how to think. Okay. He'll teach you what to say. I'll teach you how to think. And between the two of us, dude, you're going to walk out of there a new person uh, capable of making probably two to three times what you're currently making. And Brad loves you guys, man. I'm going to tell you real quick, everybody, we're in the era of the worst salesman of the history of time. Does everybody agree? Yep. Yes. Yep. Yep. They all suck. They all suck. The art of selling has physically gone away. It is, it is gone forever. That's my goal is to bring it back. It's all I want. I want to bring back the art of selling, the art of closing, the art of influencing, the art of persuasion. Dude, a vast majority of my wealth has come from the ability to influence and persuade. And I'm going to tell you what I've learned. I've learned that a lot of people don't know how to communicate anymore. Okay. We got a lot of freaking order takers everywhere. Okay. So if you're an order taker, I'm cool with it, but I'm not cool with you staying one. Okay. So I need you to do me a favor. Training is the thing that changed my life. And I know it'll change yours too. So I'm going to ask for a couple things. Number one, uh, we're going to need your mind. Anytime you train with me, you'll always hear me say the same freaking thing. You know, the reason why most people don't go anywhere in life and why they can't make money for decades, because they aren't where they are. You guys will be on this call, but you're paying attention to some other shit. Well, on this call, it could have taught you to make a lot of money, but you didn't pay attention. Okay. You're at the freaking gym. And this morning you were thinking about being at work. So you didn't even get a good workout in. You didn't even go to failure. You didn't break a sweat. Dude, you're never where you're at. You got someone you love and care about. When you go spend time with them, you're thinking about being at work. And then when you're at work, you're thinking about being with them. That's the reason why you don't ever grow because you're never really where you are. Does that make sense? Everybody, yes or no? Yes. Facts. Yes. Dude, dude yes. this, this yes. world, the world has taken yes, their mind. Yes, sir. I'm just glad I'm here. I'm a Blue Raven Solar. I had a no-show appointment. Let's go. That's Love it. Love you guys. Love it, guys. Listen, and you guys are going to learn a lot today. Okay. So, number one, um, we're going to set the tone. We're going to set the standard, and we're going to set the pace for what a killer does and what a killer looks like. Okay. So, number one, everybody write this down. Amateur. Very simple. Read everybody. Amateur. I need you to understand what an amateur is, please. Okay, an amateur does not have a delusional belief. I'm, I'm going to tell you what it is. An amateur constantly doubts him or herself. And doubt is a traitor. Write that down. Doubt is a traitor. Don't you ever doubt yourself. I don't give a shit if you suck. You better never doubt yourself. If I see you doubt yourself and you're sitting across from me or you knock on my door or you're telling me about your product, I'm out. I'm out. Okay. Hey, this is super important. Your energy. Okay. The magnetic vibe that comes off of your body when you're around people, you know, good vibes and shit, right? You know, when you're around a winner, you can tell you're around a winner. When you're around a loser, you can tell you're around a loser. Okay. Everybody, it is an out, it is a skill to out care people. Amateurs do not care. You know what amateurs want? Money. And they don't give a shit about people. I need everybody to do me a favor. Over to the right side of your paper, write down pro. Pros give a shit. They care about people. I need to get this through your head. If you want to become rich, you're going to need to love people. Right? I say love. Love people. Okay? Now, I'm going to give you guys some tricks. And I'm going to ask some questions. Okay? Let's go around real quick, and I'm going to unmute a couple things real quick. Okay? Let's go to Braden Walters. Braden, unmute real quick. We're going to go quick. And I'm going to role play, so I'll be yeah. in and out. Braden, right. what do you, Braden, what do you sell? Solar. Braden, why do you sell? A client says, why do you sell solar? Go. Oh, whoa. Boy, the, big, the bigger impact on the world to give back. What's that mean, Braden? To uh, financial freedom for me and my family. Travel the world. That's why you sell solar. You're going to tell your clients financial freedom for me and my family. I'm going to make a bunch oh, of No, 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 no. Braden, I'm asking you, why do you sell solar? I'm a client. I'm like, hey, why do you sell solar? Or Braden, you're saying, hey, do you know why I yeah. sell solar? Do you want to know why I sell solar, Mr. Customer? Why do you sell solar? For Well, I mean, I have multiple different goals in solar, but I would say the, the long, the bigger picture the, to give back to the world. 
Braden, like, what does that mean, son? Why do you sell solar? Uh, the impact, I guess. What the fuck does that mean, <laughs> Braden? Communicate, son. Spit it out your mouth. Why do you sell solar? Not, um, hey, I guess, sir, I guess. sir, my name is Braden. Let me tell you why I sell solar. Okay. I tell sell solar because when gas was a dollar a gallon, yeah. I saw when it went to okay. $6 a gallon, I saw a lot of people not be able to drive their cars because they couldn't afford to put gasoline in it. And see, I they afford. knew they knew that everybody had to have gasoline. They knew it. So they could yeah. charge us whatever they wanted. And one day, my father is a very strict, disciplined man. He isn't easily sold. We had a solar representative, a solar expert, come to our home and talk to my father about solar. I watched my father for 45 minutes try to poke holes in this guy's game. There were none. The guy asked my father when gas was a dollar a gallon, and now that you know it was six, if there was a way when it was a dollar a gallon that you could have signed an agreement in which if it went up, you wouldn't have had to pay it, would you have done it? Yes or no? Yeah. And my father said, absolutely. And he said, let me ask you a question, sir. And this was to my father. He said, is there ever a day in your life you see yourself not wanting to have energy? All of this that's happening. And my father said, I'll need it forever for my family. And he said, yeah. good. So if they raised it to 5,000 a month right now, you'd have to pay it or run your house off candles. Am I correct? Very and, true. And, yeah, and it's not an option to run your house off candles. You would pay it. So they are coming to take advantage of the energy payers, just like they did with gas, because they know you have to have it. Now there is an yeah. option right now to be inflation proof. And that's why I sell solar because an impact to me mm. means showing the homeowners, the people that want to own their stuff, that they can actually own their own energy. They can be inflation proof and they cannot get taken advantage of and make their own choices. That's why I sell solar. Okay. Because solar helps people. And I promise you every human being on the earth that owns a home is going to want to own solar. The problem with that is most of them won't be able to because they're going to find out about it too no. late when the grid is maxed out and they can't get it. Aren't you glad we're having this conversation right now? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> come on, man. Guys, come on. You feel me, Ransom? Wow. Yeah. You, feel me, yeah. you, feel me, so, you guys feel this? Listen, this, yeah. this is the new generation I'm trying to build. I'm 43 years old. Everybody write this down. I can have it all. Write it down. Because if you trained with me, 43 years old, lean, ripped, love my wife, on fire in my marriage, father of three, love my kids to death. I'm going to be their freaking hero. Bet your ass I am. I'm a great leader. I lead my team by example. I'll die by their side. They die by mine. You know what I know? In a world full of freaking frauds, I ain't gonna be one. I'm gonna go total immersion on the shit that I care about. Everybody write that down, total immersion. That means all motherfucking in. Sorry to cuss for those of you that don't like that. That's how passionate I feel about this shit. Okay, I am a Christian, I love God. Okay, guess what? I don't have a perfect mouth. You know what I do? I love. And in the Bible, it says, without love, you're bankrupt. Do you want to freaking make deals? Love your customers more than ever. Okay. You guys want a good close? And in any, any industry you're in, you guys want one of the best closes ever? Tyler Studer, what do you do? Tyson Studer, what do you do? In the R hat, the world's hat, what do you do? I actually, uh, I, was, uh, I, I got on this call. I actually had a no-show appointment, which I'm really excited to. It's great to finally talk with you. My buddy was down there. He took a picture with you. His name's Jason Solomon, a really tall Indian guy. Uh, from uh, New Delhi, my friend, and I, I was luckily not able to go to Arizona. But well, good. I'm going to give him a here. big kiss. Tell me what you do. I sell solar for Blue Raven in Washington State. My man. Okay, cool. Are you a closer or a setter? I'm a closer. Okay. All right. Close this. Hey, okay. Tyson, I really appreciate it, man. I see this 25-year agreement. I don't want to sign a contract. Go. Wait. Well, hey. We have one foul swoop to get this done. I'm super busy. Like I'm helping like 10 people today and um, I'm here. Let's just get it done. That's what I say, you know, because um, I'm helping people all over the same place. And um, I'm the biggest part of my job is repeat and referrals. I just, uh, I'm just super busy. So I have to get it done today. If not, they have to follow up with me because we are really jam-packed busy. So now's the time to go solar. 
Tyson, That's you it. think I'm going to fucking sign that agreement because you said that shit, you're really busy and you got to go? <laughs> I do I say that? I mean, I am. I don't know. I don't know if this, uh, what, I create Ty Ty so. Tyson, Tyson, first of all, this isn't about you. This isn't about, this is about them. Okay. Everybody do me a favor. Everybody put down client's perspective. When you're communicating your clothes or whatever you're going to say, and you're a master communicator, do you care about your client's perspective? Do you care about the way they're perceiving the information you're giving them? Yes or no? You should. Yes. yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Hell yes. Hell yes. Okay, guys. So Tyson's uh, like, hey, guys, uh, yes. don't want to sign an agreement. I'm really busy, guys. Can't come back. Sorry. Love you. But I got to go, man. Got shit to do. Follow up. I'm busy. I'm like, okay, get out of here then. <laughs> I mean, what, Tyson, what point or what part about what you said makes me want to ink up? Um, I, I don't know. All right. So Tyson, we got a problem, don't we? Yeah. Tyson, here's what I want you to do. I want you to write this down. New language. We're going to, new, to learn some new language. Tyson, by the way, I love you. And the fact you got on here, it's, it's a little bit nervous when we role play, but unfortunately, this is your job. This is what you do. So we need to do this because it tells me what you know. All right, now, what was the objection? I don't want to sign an agreement, right? I don't want to sign a contract, right? I said? Yeah. Let's go yeah. to another person. Someone else that says solar. Let's go to Jeremiah. Jeremiah. I'll do it. I'm about to say, I'm right here. Where? I'll do it. Where? Ross Johnson. I, I'm not on the... Ross Johnson. That. Ross Johnson. Ready? Everybody listen up. I only want Ross unmuted. Here we go. And by the way, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go around for a minute. It's a very easy close. But I want to show you guys how being, how being a communicator is, is, is very important. Hey, Mr. Right. Elliot, I, I, I get you. Sorry. Ross, unmute yourself, buddy. I had to unmute, I had to unmute a couple people. Okay. Can you hear me now? All right, cool. Hey, hey, Ross, I really appreciate you, man. Thanks for all the information. We're sitting at the kitchen table, but I'm like, Ross, I ain't going to sign a 25-year agreement. Go. I don't want to sign a contract. Yeah, totally understandable. I get I get 25 years. Kind of seems like a long time. Do, do you think whether it's you or the next homeowner that are going to live in the house are going to need power for the next 25 years? Sure. So with what, what concerns you about the 25-year agreement? Is it is it locking in your rate for 25 years or... Is it being able to have an end date with your power after 25 years? Yeah, I just, I just don't want to sign a 25 year agreement. I mean, that's I, I, number one, I just don't want to sign a contract. No contract at all? Nope. Gotcha. Um, so, you know, your utility company now currently is the only one in the area. Would you agree that you're going to need power? You're not going to sit at home with the lights off, correct? Sure, but I've got power with them now. And then you're coming in. You say you've got something special, but I'm not going to sign this deal for 25 years. 25 years. Exactly. You know, a lot of our customers say the, say the same thing, except when, when they do realize that, that there is an end date to this 25 years and you're building equity, you're not, you're not just throwing away your $200 a month to nothing and not getting anything in return. It's kind of like renting versus owning, right? You, you, you're a homeowner here. What, what made you purchase your home instead of rent it? Okay, do me a favor, Ross. Just by the way, I appreciate you. I love you. You're amazing. I want you to do me a favor. Yep. Your goal, when I say I don't want to sign an agreement, is to get me to say yes as fast as possible and get me away from saying no. Am I right? Yes or no? Would you guys agree? Yes or no by show of hands? Yes. Okay, Ross, are you ready? Hey, hey, Ross, yep. don't want to, tell me you don't want to sign an agreement. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I really want to sign a 25-year agreement today. Yeah, yeah, Ross, number one, I totally understand. However, agreements are only good as long as they play in your favor. Wouldn't you agree, Ross? Am I right or right? I, I agree. <laughs> Motherfucker just agreed. He decided agree, fucking agreements are good. Two, two seconds, baby. He just said, I agree. Yeah, contracts are good as long as they play in my favor. Okay, what did I say? Everybody write this down. I don't want to sign an agreement. I don't want to sign a contract. What did I say? I said, I totally understand. Okay, however, Ross... Contracts are good as long as they play in your favor. Wouldn't you agree? I mean, they got to play in your favor. Am I right or right? He's like, right. I got you. Got you to say yes that fast. Ross says, I don't want to sign an agreement. Totally understand. However, contracts are good, but they just got to play in your favor. Wouldn't you agree? Yes. Cool. Well, guess what? When they say yes, what do you do? You say currently you're in an unspoken agreement. They are. 
They're in an agreement right now, which if the utility bill went to $5,000 a month, they'd have to pay it or they would turn their energy off. You're actually here with an option where if their energy was to go up, they wouldn't have to pay it because you actually have an agreement in place, which allows them to be inflation proof. Okay, you see the car they got sitting in their driveway? Ross, are you with me? Yep. Ross, you see that car sitting in their driveway? Yeah. Ask them, say, hey, let me ask you a question. You see that car sitting in your driveway? When you bought it, you probably financed it for 60 or 72 months. There was probably an agreement in place, which at one point the car would be paid off. Would you agree? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Yes. Would you have bought the car if they shook your hand and said the payment's going to be 450 a month and you're going to have to pay it until you die? I would not. No, because you would want an agreement in place which protected you. Number one, for the payment not to go up. And number two, for there to be an end date to the payments. You know what I've learned? My job, like Bradley always says, is to get the information from the people who have it, which is us as a solar company, to the people who need it, which is you as the homeowners. And you know what we know? 99% of the clients on the road or that are in the world, Ross, they don't know that it's an option to own their own energy and power. And most of them aren't going to find out until it's too late. The grid's maxed out and they can't get it. Aren't you glad that I'm here to explain this today? That when it goes up, you won't have to pay it and why everyone else does, there'll be a way for you to be inflated proof absolutely so our contracts good are they good yes you just have to play in your favor if you signed a 25-year agreement here and over here you don't have an agreement not having an agreement on something you're going to have forever and something you're going to have to pay forever is just a little bit scary okay right now you should be scared about not having an alternative just like gas went up, so is energy. Can I ask you a question? Two questions, Ross. Number one, is there an ever a day in your life you're going to go without energy? Yes or no? Ever? No. Is there ever a day? Okay. Number two, do you believe inflation's real? Yes or no? Yes. You're pretty smart, man. Don't you think it'd be a smart, if you know you're going to have it forever and you know inflation's are real, to have an agreement in place in which they can't take advantage of you and you have control of your money and your decisions? Yes or no? Yes. Sign right here, biatch. <laughs> What's your okay. social? All right, watch, guys. Everybody do me a favor, okay? I know I'm playing around. Brad, we like to joke around. Um, I want everybody to write this down. And then let's flip over to Brad for a minute so Brad can say what's up to everybody. Everybody write this down. My goal and Brad Lee's goal is to teach you guys, all of you, men and women, okay, how to be master communicators. It's very, very simple. This is how you're going to get rich. Number one, you generally got to care about people because your, your money's made from people, which Brad always explains, which is relationships. So try going without relationships with your people. You'll be fucking broke. That guy, that slick mouth that runs around, tries to make money, who's a hustler, who doesn't love people, he makes money for a year and he's out. We want to teach you guys to make money for decades. Me and Brad Lee are in this for a new movement of hustlers, the art of closing, businessmen, entrepreneurs, the next breed which is all of you listening. And by the way, hey, listen to me. Who's in control of your money and your life? You are. Who's going to buy? Hey, your decisions you made yesterday has shaped the future and the life that you have today. The decisions you made yesterday and the decisions you make today on this call, whether you decide to start self-investing in yourself and getting better will shape the future that you have tomorrow. It is that simple. Brad always says you're a decision away from changing your entire life. That's how fast this world can change. A decision. But everybody, write this down. A master communicator means this. Any time that you are speaking or talking to anyone, you must be a master communicator. You must communicate yourself so well that number one, they want to hear more. They don't even want you to shut up. They don't want you to leave. They don't want you to go away. They want you to be their new best friend. They want you to be a part of their family. They want to buy everything off you for the rest of your life. They don't want to talk to anybody else. They've never seen anything like you. And how do you do it? Number one, you make it easy to say yes to. You have to make it easy for them to say yes to. As I was talking to Ross, I said, Ross, I totally understand. However, agreements are good. They just got to play in your favor. Am I right or right? Yes. Yeah, they just got to play in your favor. I got it. Made it easy for them to say yes. Make it hard to say no to. Okay. Hey, let me ask you a question, Ross. See that vehicle in your driveway? Would you have bought that if there wasn't an agreement in place that would show that 60 or 72 months the car was going to be paid off? No, you wouldn't, have, you wouldn't have shook the guy's hand at 450 a month and he didn't tell you when it was over. No, you would want agreement in place. So agreements are good. They just got to play in your favor. Watch what I keep doing here. I made it hard for him to say no. Easy to say yes to, hard to say no to. And you know what I did ultimately in the end? I want you to understand. I made it 
his idea. Make it easy to say yes to, hard to say no to, and make it the client's idea every single time, okay? Guys, this doesn't get taught anymore. You know what I learned? I learned there's a lot of product knowledge out there, Brad. You know what I learned? People knowledge is a very, very lost art that isn't exist anymore. And me and you, we're not gonna teach you product knowledge with solar. We're not gonna teach you product knowledge with whatever you sell. We're gonna teach you how to sell and close, influence, persuade, and communicate. And you're gonna be deadly. And wordplay is very, very important. Brad, good morning. What's going on, buddy? What's happening, champ? What's the word, fellas, ladies? Everybody say what's up to Brad. It's like you got a full house what's over up, there. Brad? Hey, what's, what's up, up Brad? Hey, what's up, 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 Brad? Guys, you know what I love about Brad? You know, we got 377 people this morning, Brad. I see a lot of these rooms. There's five or 10 people in a room. We got a thousand people this morning logging in this morning decided that they're not going to conform to being average that they're not going to let mediocrity crawl all over their asses and they're going to be freaking winners okay and i love it man and guess what you know what the fact that brad showed up this early in the morning when he's on a vacation with his family you know what it shows it shows that he loves people and that's the reason why he's a real brad lee so uh brad maybe you got a little something you want to share with us for a minute because you know me i just like to go attack well, dude, I could go, I could go both ways with that. Like it's 9 a.m. Y'all should be working. However, I do believe in training because a lot of times people will work and work and work and work and work and they don't take the time to go and get better. They don't take the time to personally grow and develop. And they most certainly do not take the time to become experts. And in this day and age, man, with the internet and the, all the information that's out there, man, we need to be experts. People need to trust what you're saying. People need to understand that you know what the hell you're talking about and that they need you to make a transaction in that industry. Now, again, with, with solar, with furniture, with cars, with jewelry, with shoes, I don't care what you're selling, real estate, it doesn't matter. It's the same. People want experts, man. People want to trust the person they're talking to. So if you're sitting there and you're like, well, shit, I don't know much about the industry I'm in. Well, then you better get savvy with it real, real quick. And then what Andy was saying, you better get real savvy with people because dude, I'm, let me tell you guys something. Relationships is where money comes from. So if you want more money, you need more relationships, period. Like when people come to me and they're like, Brad, teach me what to say. I'm like, go, go, go sign up with Andy. Andy will teach you what to say. Okay. I'll teach you how to think. Okay. He'll teach you what to say. I'll teach you how to think. And between the two of us, dude, you're going to walk out of there a new person uh, capable of making probably two to three times what you're currently making. And again, is it going to be a little bit uncomfortable? Absolutely. More than likely. Is it going to take a little practice? Yes, it will. But guess what? I, I didn't, I wasn't good until I got good. You know what I'm saying? You're going to suck until you don't. Isn't that what you say, Andy? Yeah, everybody sucks until they don't. Hey, and listen, I'd like to take credit to get up at the crack of dawn and shit, but you know, there's a good place to have a cigar sitting on here at the 16th floor <laughs> at, the, at the only presidential suite this turd hotel has. But but listen, at the end of the day, how do I how do I do this? I got a I got a private jet over at the airport waiting to take me home. I don't say that to impress you. I say it to impress upon you, dude. This is all from sales. This is all from sales. If I didn't know how to sell clothes and persuade people, I would not be where I am today. 100% fact. Each and every single one of you guys can do exactly the same shit in whatever, cho well, not whatever chosen field. There are some of you that are probably selling the wrong thing, which is why you, you're not making as much as you'd like. Guys, you have to look around your industry and see if, the, if there's somebody, you know, doing it. You know, there's people in the car business making, you know, $80,000 a year. Well, that means they need help. Why? Well, because you can make a half a million to a million a year in the car business, but you're not going to make 10 million unless you own the dealership. So if you're looking to make 10 million, you're probably in the wrong spot if you're selling cars. But at the end of the day, everybody's different. Everybody has their own level of, of comfort. And all I'm telling you right now is selling is how I got it. I know selling is how Andy got it. I know selling is how all my people got it. Like, dude, I know a lot of a lot of big, powerful, rich influencers. Okay. And they're all, all in the position they're in because they took the time to get really good at communicating and mastering sales. 
So I don't know how old you guys are. I, I can only see one screen of you. I haven't thumbed through the rest of them, but let me tell you guys something. You want to be in a position where, where you're the expert and that you know how to quickly engage a relationship. Now, I don't know, uh, uh, Andy, if you brought up Ultimate Closer Summit, but... No, I haven't yeah. brought it up yet, but I, I wanted to talk about it and I wanted everybody to understand like what goes on in these events, because obviously why we're getting this together, where you're in roofing, like you said, whether you sell shoes, whether whatever you do, if you're in a commission based field or you want to be, or you're leading a team, Brad, um, or, or you smoke Cuban cigars, either one. Yeah. Tell them about the ultimate close or something. Everybody do me a favor, right? Where'd down you get your Cubans? I get them from a website called Cigars of Habanos. It's the only one that I found that they're real and they're authentic every single time I order them. Oh, Cigar how much are they? How much are they? How much are they each? Are they? They have different ones, or? Well, yeah, that's a it's a website. You get them all. I mean, there's domestic and there's there's Cuban uh, there. Say but, the, can you but, say the name one more time? I'm going to check it out. Thanks. Uh, it was called Cigars of Habanos, or C O H. You know, cigarsofhabanos.com. Right now I'm smoking a Monte Cristo number two. Eee, it's good. Hey, morning cigars with a cup of coffee are the best. I quit smoking cigars except for celebration. And this morning gave me gave me an opportunity to smoke one because I'm celebrating that there's enough people in the room that are wanting to grow and develop. And to me, that excites me. See, I always tell people, man, I can save you from drowning, but you got to swim towards me. I love it. Everybody do me a favor. Write this down. Just write something simple down. Brad, I want you to talk, but I want you to write something down. Write down June 10th. Okay, actually write down June 9th and June 10th. The night of June 9th, me and Brad are going to be busting up a badass workout in Scottsdale, Arizona. We want you guys to come sweat with us and grind. June 10th, Brad and me are going to be teaching called the Ultimate Closer Summit. Now, listen, I need to explain this to you, Okay. These events don't exist. Sales events don't exist. I'm not going to teach you product knowledge. We're going to teach you how to freaking sell and close anyone. Now, the reason. Incompetence. Yeah, dude, incompetence. He talks about trust. A lot of people can't even look at people in the eyes when they're talking to them. Everything from A to Z that you'll need to know, we're going to teach on this June 10th event. Now, Brad, do me a favor. Like, Brad's one of the best closers in the world. Me and him constantly go back and forth. I'm the best. You're the best. I'm that. We play with each other. We trap each other. We try to corner each other. You know what I've learned? When you corner somebody who's a closer, you're in trouble. They get dangerous. The people that are great, they get more deadlier when you try to corner them. You can't corner a closer. It's physically impossible. So I want to tell you this. We've trained relentlessly to learn this skill. Now, Brad's got, you know, 10 eight-figure businesses. He ain't doing it for the money. So you know what he does? They call Brad. He goes to a speaking engagement. They pay him 50 to 100 grand. He speaks for an hour. He gets out of there. Brad does not teach. Brad has decided to teach with me at these ultimate closer summits. It's the only event you will be with Brad Lee anywhere in this world where you will literally be taught by Brad. Brad does not teach closes anywhere. Brad gets on there. He's hilarious. And by the way, but it's just because Brad, me and you, when we get in the same room together, all of a sudden the camaraderie, he's not me. I'm not him. We're two completely different people, but we've got two different minds and we're both deadly with closing. So the people that are there as we're overcoming every objection in every industry, guess what? You're there listening to exactly what we would say. And you start picking up these truth bombs, these word tracks, this word play, this new language that makes you freaking deadly. I'm going to go back into teaching for a minute, but I want everybody to do me a favor because Brad, I want you to tell them about this event for a minute, but I want you to write down a phone number. Just write it down. You don't have to do anything yet with it, but just write it down. 918, area code 918, 210 254 918-210-0254. You say, oh, this is a pitch. Yeah, no, it's actually, do you want to become a millionaire? Are you worth spending two grand on yourself? Very simple. Okay, like Brad said, I, I can't freaking throw you a life raft if you're not going to swim towards me. Like, dude, your goal in life, it's 2023, is to get around people that have what you need. That's it. And then when you get around them, you take it, and then you freaking are the expert. And you're kicking everybody's ass. But we got two tickets at this event. 
We've got about 70 seats left. We got a couple VIP and we got a couple normal tickets. This room is going to be held in Scottsdale, Arizona, in our compound, in our conference room, which is absolutely batshit crazy. We will be closing from 9 a.m. to 4 o'clock. If you're here, you're going to freaking 3x, 5x, or 10x your skill. If you'll keep your mind in this room, I will show you how to slaughter your competition and bankrupt their ass. Okay? Top 1% in the industry. That's what me and Brad want to teach. Hey, and, hey, hey, and the only, I mean, I, I like to throw a negative in there because because I'm the truthful son of a bitch I am. You're not going to triple your revenue unless you implement the stuff that you listen to or you hear because because training re- properly takes four things. Good content, which you're definitely going to get there, but then it takes repetition, practice and accountability. So you will you will double triple your income, but you have to literally be be paying attention. And then when you leave, do those things. You can't you can't come listen to them and then say, "Hey, my my income didn't double." Well, the reason your income didn't double is because you're not implementing the shit that you heard there. You have to implement this stuff. The things I'm going to bring, I'm just going to make sure that people can walk out of there and have the confidence to knock on any door, talk to any customer. You know, and and ultimately navigate through a conversation where you're not nervous whatsoever. You don't look away. You don't. You're not shifty eyed. You look people dead in the face, and you build relationships. Because because I'm telling you right now, when I tell when I teach people to sell, I used to do that. But when I taught people to sell, I would teach them first to stop selling. Believe it or not, like dude, people don't want to be sold. Okay, they want to be helped. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking for a car. You're going to help me find a car. You're, I'm looking for a house. You're going to help me find a house. I'm looking for, you know, saving money. I got issues. You're going to help me with some solar. You're going to help me. Okay. And if you change the, the word sell to help the whole, your whole frequency, your whole vibration changes. And when your vibration changes, believe it or not, the relationships start aligning differently. You attract. Okay. So, so anyway, I'm going to get into a lot of that there. But more importantly, dude, it's just going to be a badass time. It's going to be fun. And if you go VIP, just, and by the way, I mean, when Andy said this isn't a pitch, this is just informing you. I, I I didn't even mean to bring it up except for I was getting excited about what I'm bringing because I got PowerPoints this time. And so, and I never do PowerPoints, but I got, I got step-by-step shit I'm going to bring to it. I got excited and I brought it up. So I didn't mean to turn this into a presentation, but if you go VIP, that's uh, you, you come with the with the with the fellas to the party afterwards. Yeah, so let me tell you what this is. Nineteen ninety seven. That's under two grand. One nine nine seven. That's not nineteen dollars for those of you cheap asses. Okay, it's nineteen hundred and ninety seven dollars. Okay, and here's the deal. There's a link. You can you can grab it. It's in it's in the the notes, or you can text at nine one eight two one zero zero two five four. And and dude, for nineteen ninety seven, you're gonna train with us from nine to four. Now. The, the VIP is going to be from six to nine. I know a lot of people that say, hey, Brad, I've watched your shit. I love it. Dude, how do I get close to you? Well, dude, you you can't unless you go VIP. And by the way, if you understand how Andy Elliott operates in the Elliott group and when Brad's around us, we don't operate like these other freaking events. I'm not a stiff ass. Okay. I like to have fun, right? Like literally we can get Brad Lee naked and throw him in the crowd. You never know what we're going to do. We ain't gonna right? do that. Do, don't do that, but we we could do it. At the VIP though, we all kick ass. Cigars, we got cigar rollers, we got flamethrowers, we got people having fun. We're all together. It's a brotherhood. I saw people last time, they're like, dude, I get to sit down and talk to Brad. Yeah, it's pretty easy. He's right there. Go get on social media, go have fun, go ask him a question about your business. Oh, by the way, Brad, all the business ventures. All those shit, those things you want to do with Brad, those things happen at that event, after party. That's where you go up and talk to him about shit. Plus, Brad, can you give away some Dropping Bomb podcast? You think for some VIP people who come? Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I can do a couple. There we go. A couple VIP Dropping Bomb podcast will give away, which is cra- crazy. So if you want to go, do me a favor. I don't know what the rest of your year looks like, but one day, it's all I need. Scottsdale, Arizona, June 10th. You spend one day with me and Brad, I swear to God, I'll send your ass home with a new name and a new birth certificate. I'll change your life. And I know Brad will too. And we're bringing the freaking heat, dude. 
okay? There's more money to be made than ever before. It's time to go collect, all right? In a world full of pussies and amateurs, right, which we talk about all the time, okay? We need some freaking killers. Everybody do me a favor. I'm gonna go back into teaching for a minute real quick. Everybody do me a favor, write this down. What is the top 1% earner in your industry make? You know, basically what Brad said is, you know, if you're the best, how much could you earn? I want you to do me a favor. If you wrote it down, let's say your name's Jeremy and you wrote it down and you said the top 1% could earn 800 grand. I was in the automotive space. I made 716 grand my last year selling cars. If you're making a hundred, well, guess what? You're about seven times under what you could earn. I'm not better than you. I had a stutter. I sucked. I didn't believe in myself. I was raised poor. I had a shitty mindset and I decided to change all that shit because you know who manages me and controls my life? Me, just like you do. And you can make a simple decision right now that you know what? The shit that I've been doing is getting me exactly what I have now. It's time to change. That's it. And you got to get around some crazy ass people that want to see you change. We're psycho. Hey, so, you, guys, you guys, you guys want to consider something else, Andy? I never tell people to write shit down, but watch this. Here's what I want you to do, folks. Take a pen, write down the amount of income that you want to make real quick. Just one time real quick, no matter what the number is. Could be a million, could be 10 million. Write it down. Andy, do it too. I want to show you guys something. <laughs> write down what you want to make on a piece of paper. Now, I want you to write down what you actually made last year underneath. And then I want you to subtract what you made from what you want to make and tell me what the number is. Spit out some numbers. All right, guys, unmute. Let's spit out some numbers. 850,000. Four, 4 million. 3.2 million. Okay, now pay attention to these numbers, guys, because that's what you're paying to not know. That's what you're paying, what I call the ignorance tax. You guys are paying that amount of money because you don't know. Now, let me tell you something. The reason you don't have it already is because you don't know something that, that you need to know. You don't know somebody that you need to know. Because if you knew everything you needed to know and you knew everyone you needed to know, that would be the number you're already making. And the reason you're not making it is because you don't know something and you don't, and, and you don't know someone. So look at that number and stare at it and ask yourself a question. Is coming to Phoenix, if Scottsdale to hang out with us for a day, do you think you might get a little bit of knowledge? You think you might get a little bit of knowledge to start moving you towards that number? Because that right now, you're already paying it, folks. You're already paying way more by not coming. Pay attention. I'm telling you. Brad just like, said dude, you're, you're already giving it away to life. You're giving it away to freaking not knowing. Like, dude, it took me years to figure this shit out. I used to think this is stupid. Who would pay freaking money to go to these freaking events and listen to them to a dance around and motivate? I don't want motivate. I want tactical shit. Well, number one, this is tactical. But more than that, number two, last year I spent $560,000, which, by the way, uh, some people are like, you know, well, you have it. That's why. Guys, I started before I had it. Okay, I have it because I was doing it. But, but at the end of the day, at some point in time, I started to invest in myself. People ask me all the time, Brad, what would you invest in if you only had 10 grand? Hey, what would you invest in if you only had three grand? I'd invest in myself. I'd invest in my skills. Because folks, in order to make whatever you want out of life, and by the way, everybody's opinion of success is different, so I'm not going to impose upon you my opinion of success, but it definitely includes having some serious money. But, but there's three things that are going to that are going to directly impact and 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 determine whether you end up where you want to be it's going to be number one your mindset number two your skill set and number three your habits it's that simple people don't make it more difficult than it is so many people are trying to complicate life listen it's 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 not that complicated your mindset your skill set and your habits so if you can just master three things, your mindset, your skill set, and your habits, you're going to go wherever you want to go. You're going to get whatever you want to get. That's it. So listen, I'm going to be focusing those three, those that day on mindset, confidence, swagger, trust, skill set, sales, closing, the ability to close on any objection. 
And then habits. What habits do you need to be doing on a regular basis to be moving towards? And by the way, guys, it's not going to happen overnight. I, I, it took me a long time, believe it or not. And I, and I was good. And it took you. It takes a. It takes a while. So don't think you're going to freaking you know come down there and all of a sudden you know make millions of dollars the next day because it takes time. You got to go out and implement, practice that shit, and get good at it. But at the end of the day, mindset, skill set, habits. I'd write those three things down and just focus on them every day. Is your mindset right? And if you're thinking right now anything negative whatsoever, trust me, your mindset ain't right. Okay. Number two, your skill set. Okay. If you don't know how to answer shit quickly and efficiently, guys, it just takes practice. You think Andy woke up with the ability just to spit out kick ass shit? I heard the objection. His 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 response was freaking awesome. It was like, dude, you don't want an agreement. Shit, you got one now sitting in your driveway. Agreements are only good if they if they work out for you. Wouldn't that make sense? The dude, he's practiced that a hundred times. I'll bet you he goes and gets one of his sales guys off the floor, pull him online. They'll say the same shit, or they'll say something that sounds really intelligent and well done. And the reason why is because he's practiced it a thousand times. First, you got to get the content, then you got to get the practice, the repetition. You got to freaking use it over and over because, until it becomes second nature to you. And that's when freaking dude, you guys are deadly. You're walking around making a ton of money. And for anybody that's in solar right now, guys, I'm telling you, if you're not making fifty to a hundred thousand dollars a month in solar, you better be at this event, dude. You better be at this event because I know twenty three year old dipshits, literally, making fifty grand a month, knocking on doors. They're blowing it every month too. They're living like rock stars, which I wouldn't recommend. But dude, solar right now, you guys got to be making 50 to 100 grand a month. If you're not, you don't know what you're saying. You don't know what you're doing and you need to pay attention. Okay. Any, anybody else, guys, just write this down. Okay. If I want it, okay, I got to go get it. It's not coming to you. Buddy of mine used to say, how am I going to get anything to fall in my lap if I'm not sitting on my ass? Okay, you want some shit to fall in your lap? I don't know how to help you. Okay, you got to get up and go get it. Okay, come get it, Scottsdale, Arizona. Now again, I'm done. I'm done pitching. But at the end of the day, there's 377 people here. There ain't that many tickets left. So if I was you guys, I'd start hitting a link or, or deciding right now to come. And now let's get back to to kick ass things to say. I like to. I like Andy. When you start battle testing, you start going through objections. You want to do a little of that? Yeah, I love it. Let's go back to it. Let's go. Let's go back to gallery. Let's switch this shit around. All right, guys. So listen, I'm going to run through here, by the way, the 918-210-0254. You just texted. It's done. Hey, babe, give me one of those Spartan helmets real quick. Can I show it? No, no, but I want to show something real quick. This is kick ass. Andy, right? Andy put, a, put a link or a phone number in there so people can start buying now because when they're out, they're out, aren't they? Yeah. No, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're only taking 300 people and then we're done. So by yeah, the way, nobody yeah, but the half of those like are already gone, dude. Yeah, there's 70 spots. There's, there's no like, you're in like row E, seat 27. We're all going to be on the ground. Let's fucking go, baby. Hey, guys. Guys, you see this Spartan helmet? Check this out. See this? Watch this. This right here, Brad. This year, everybody goes VIP. Not only do you go to the after party, Brad, these are heavy duty. This is a real Spartan helmet. Real. The, every one of these Spartan helmets is everybody that goes VIP on the 3997. All these Spartan helmets are going to be signed by me and Brad Lee. Ultimately. Dude, rumor rumor has it those helmets were, were worn by real Roman soldiers. Yeah, no shit. That's where I fucking got them out of the graveyard. Hey, there, there's one out of them all that was signed that was that was worn by Maximus Aurelius. <laughs> yeah, but but check this out, Brad. When they come, they everybody gets one of these in VIP. Dude, listen, we spend more money on swag and food and shit when you guys get here in the event than even making anything. But this is how we shape our future. By the way, do me a favor. Everybody write this down, leader. Everybody needs to know this. Me and Brad are teaching you all to become leaders. That's it. Hey, by the way, if you spell spell leader, it starts with L-E-A, bitches. That's good. I love that shit. See, I told you, Brad's always got something to come back at. Hey, everybody, I'm going to give you guys a secret. All right, are you ready? And I guarantee, Brad, tell me if you've ever 
had anyone teach on this in your entire life? Just be real. Have you ever had anybody talk about the nervous system system of a salesperson? Have you ever heard it even talked about? No. Okay. Sebastian Pinder. Come on, unmute. I want to show you something real quick. What's up, brother? Seb uh, Sebastian, what do you do? I sell solar. Okay, so Sebastian, listen to me. I'm going to tell you no. And what we're going to do, everybody's going to understand that right now when I tell Sebastian no, he's going to need to fire back like that fast because he's going to have his back against the wall. What's going to happen is that his nervous system is going to kick in and people can tell by his eyes, his mouth, his shakiness, his voice, his confidence, whether he believes in his way to go is the right way or not to go. Would you guys agree? I train elite killers. Number one. Yes, mindset, skill set, habit. Brad said he's going to bring it. But here's what I'm going to teach. Sebastian, if I tell you no, your job is to get me to say yes. That's your job, right? Yes, sir. And you got to do it while letting this nervous system that you have stay calm and at peace. See my hand? Doesn't shake, doesn't do anything. I've done this so many millions of times. <laughs> you guys come to this event. I'm going to say, put your hand out when I overcome it with you. And you're going to watch people will do this. You know why? Because their nervous system. I'm going to teach you guys master closers can master any situation because their nervous system is at complete peace. They have mastery, Sebastian, like, like Kobe freaking Bryant. Would you guys like to be the Kobe Bryant of your industry? If you do show up at this event, swear Absolutely. to God, swear to God, I'll change your life. All right, Sebastian, here we go. Ready? Right, What's up, Sebastian, brother? Are you a closer or setter? I'm a closer and setter. Cool. So, Sebastian, you're at my, my, my bad. Sebastian, we're sitting at the table and you're going over all the information with me. And I say, hey, Sebastian, I really appreciate it, man. But I need to think about it. Go. What do you need to think about? I mean, I'm here to save you money, you and your family. Um, everything's laid out on the table. The rates could be going up next week. Um, as far as, you know, you're not going to see anything a savings unless you start getting getting on the ball today yeah man i really appreciate it man look this is new information you just gave it to me right so i appreciate it but i really just need to think about it i understand um yeah if i could have told you i could have locked you in at a dollar fifty um when the gas prices are low this is the same this is the same process um you wouldn't have been paying four dollars right now you would have done it right yeah with gas but this is new you know what i'm saying so like i said but i but i really appreciate it it's it's the same thing with with the gas prices and the the, re the regulation on the uh, utility companies. This is the first phase of deregulation. Oh, okay, so stop for a minute. Do me a favor, guys. Does Sebastian need to get me to say yes fast? Yes or no, Brad? Yes. <laughs> Sebastian, you keep giving me information, but you're not getting me on this yes ladder. You're not turning it around. Right? Does that make sense? Right. Guys, do you want to get Sebastian to say yes? Yes. Hey, Sebastian, number one, I totally understand you need to think about it. Let me ask you a question. Do you like to be in control of your money? Yes or no? Yes, I do. Do you like to be in con control of your uh, of your choices, especially when it comes to um, your, your home and energy and in your life and everything you do? Do you like to be in control of that? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Absolutely. I'm going to ask you one question. Do you feel like currently you're in control of your energy right now? Under any circumstance, do you feel like you're in control of it? Uh, no, if I'm renting my power, then absolutely not. Okay, so look, I'm just asking a simple Let question. Change that. Bam. That that is it. All I did, guys, it's called a paradigm shift. Everybody write this down. Paradigm shift. Sebastian, write this down. Paradigm shift. Yeah. Okay, let me show you within 30 seconds three paradigm shifts. I'm gonna change the way that you guys feel emotionally and how you feel about yourself. Ready? Okay. So Brad, I'm in my suit and my tie. I got my hot cup of coffee in my hand. I'm having the best day of my life. I'm going to, to Wall Street. I'm ready to kick ass, baby. Look good. How do I feel? Sebastian, I feel good, don't I? Yeah. Sebastian, all of a sudden I get on a subway. There's three, there's two kids running around. They're five, six years old. They're being a little brats. And they bump into me, spill the coffee down all down my, my suit. And now how do I feel? You don't feel like you look good. You don't feel like a million bucks. Spill coffee all down me. I'm pissed <laughs> yeah. off. Right? Yeah. yeah. All of a sudden I look over and there's a guy next to me on the subway and he reaches out and he gives me a couple hundred bucks and says, Hey, I'll pay for the dry cleaning, whatever it is. I'm so sorry. These are my kids. Their mother just died. I'm trying to figure out how to tell them. Now, how do you feel? I feel horrible. <laughs> I just changed 
how he thought three yeah. times within 15 seconds. Yeah. Brad, this is what closers do. I need to think about it. Number one, I totally understand. However, let's think about what you're currently doing. Okay. All that I'm here to do is give you an agreement and to put in place in which it protects you to be inflation proof and actually make your own choices and your own decisions. Currently, who you're with, PG&E or ABC Energy, whoever you're with, isn't allowing you to make any of the decisions. Right now, if your utility bill is to go to $5,000 a month, is there anything that you could do? No, you couldn't. You would have to pay it or they would turn it off and you'd have to run your house off candles. Am I correct, Sebastian? Yes or no? Absolutely. Sebastian, yes, there sir. is only one way, only one, one way that you can be in control of your energy. Only one. And there's only one option and it's right here in front of you. And I'm going to tell you this, right? Let's go through the pros and cons. I'm going to draw an X on a piece of paper. I'm going to put, this is your life now. This is your life with solar. And I'm literally going to go A to Z. I'm going to say right now, you're currently paying $300 a month. And if they raise it to 5,000, who has to pay it? You do. Over here, if you decide to sign this agreement and, you're, and your energy bill is 300 a month and everybody else goes to 5,000, what does yours do? Stays the same. I'm going to draw a little happy face and I'm going to see that right there. That's what life's about, staying happy. Okay. Yep. Hey, watch. Guys, at this event, I swear to God on my life, Sebastian, you have been trained by people in the industry that sell solar, so they're teaching you the same shit. You need some new language. You need some new... Guys, how many bullets do you have in your chamber? I'm going to give you guys a sniper rifle with a thousand freaking bullets in it. Clack, 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 clack. You're literally, you're not going to be a machine gun sprayer going, I hope something sticks and they say yes. Listen to me, Sebastian, you're a sniper. When your Absolutely. words, when your words leave your mouth, they better freaking count. Okay. I want to tell you guys, this is the unstoppable way. Everybody write down good, great, and unstoppable. Good. You're making good money. You're making great money. You're making unstoppable money. You want to be the top 1% in your industry? Listen, I'm going to tell you this. Everybody by show of hands, I'm an underdog. Who had who had a freaking crazy ass life growing up? Who had it tough? Who had a grind? Who's an underdog? Okay, you know what? You know what I learned? If you suffer when you're a kid, you kill it as a freaking adult. You kill it. You're so used to disappointment. You're so used to being let down. You guys are dangerous, but I'm gonna tell you something, okay? Guys, proximity of being around the right people is so important, Brad. It's so important. There's, there's a dynamic shift that I'm gonna make sure that happens in every one of you. Now listen to me. Hey, you know what I say? Hey, test me. When you show up July 10th, June 10th, who's gonna freaking be the person that's gotta show up? Me and him. And I swear to God, the shit that I've learned in 25 years, okay, what I've learned, and Brad's been doing it for 35 years, when we teach you guys in one day, you're going to be fucking unstoppable. I swear to God, test me. I want you when you're done, when you leave, to either say, you're, you're right. You changed my life. You, you freaking, you held to your word in, a, in an era of time where nobody does, okay? Or I want you to say, Son of a bitch, you ruined the you ruined the value of money for me. I'd have paid you a hundred thousand for this. I know you would have. You'd have paid whatever it takes to get to the top one percent, but I don't need that. Okay, the reason why we do this shit so cheap is because I am looking to build some killers. We are in a world full of losers. We're in a world full of people right now that have the opportunity like never before to make it rain money. The only thing they lack is skill. They lack the drive. They like the, lack the freaking, the, the, the fire inside of them to want to be freaking winners. If you wanted it, you'd have it. Okay, they lack all this shit because they don't have a good leader around them. Or the leader that is around them is maybe making more than them, so they're not investing in them. Me and Brad want to teach you everything we know. Andy, if, Andy, maybe you could select a few people to be on your podcast. Let's do it. I'll take 10 people. I don't give a shit. I, here's my goal. Everybody hey, I'm on knows. The podcast. Let's go. Everybody knows. <laughs> hey, I swear to God when I say this, you know what I love? I love when you're around people that literally don't give a shit about money, but you got to pay so you'll pay attention. If, I, if me and Brad gave you this shit for free, you wouldn't even do nothing with it. That's why you're going to pay because you're going to come get your money out of our ass. 
That's what you're going to do. And you know what? I'm going to test you. Okay. If you don't want to be messed with in the room, you can sit back and watch me push everybody else. I'm totally cool with that. Some people want to be spectators. I'm looking for contenders, but if, if you're in that room, I'll change your life. By the way, in that room, Brad, if anybody messes up, does it cost them a dollar? No, they get great. Pressure creates diamonds or burst pipes in a world where everybody freaking flees from pressure. We're going to run to it. We're going to be different. Okay. So I just want to tell all of you, man, if you guys have gotten any value today at all, okay, wait till you come to the event. I swear to God, I'm going to ruin your life. Brad, I'm going to make an extra deal with everybody. Everybody right now that decides that they want to come to the event, if you've text, because I don't have my phone on me, the 918-210-0254, or you bought on a link and you bought your ticket, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give them the next 30 days of training for free on my sales warrior training platform. All my, all my sales training. You know why? I'm going to give you guys time to get battle tested and ready for this event. So I'm going to allow you, I'm going to give you 30 days for free to start training. Okay. So I'm going to give you access the second they're done, Brad. You know why? Because you always say training isn't something you did. It's something that you do every single day of your life. So I'm going to let them start logging in now. I want to, I want to make them 20 times the money that they paid for this event before they even come. I don't care what industry you're in. Our sales warrior training platform teaches every industry, roofing, sales, insurance, solar, automotive. I don't give a shit. Okay. Alarms, door to door. It teaches it all. But you know what? When you come to this event, you guys are going to be the new freaking breed of 2023. And I swear to God, Brad said, write down what you want and write down where you're currently at. Okay. It's time for us to go get what we say we want for everybody that's serious. I cannot help you until you commit. But once you commit, me and Brad will not let you fail. No fucking way over our dead body. This is what we live for. So I love you guys, Brad. I'm grateful for you for, for joining us. I know I pulled him out of bed early with his wife and his kids. Okay. I mean, shit, dude, I'd buy a ticket just because the guy gave his, got, got time away from his family on vacation. But you know what I know? I know that you guys are the future. I know that no matter how old you are, okay, it's all about from today forward. I don't care about how much you're making. If you're dead, Ian broke, like Brad said, I paid for training before I even had the money. Yeah, you don't have a money problem. You have a skill problem. You fix the skill, he fixes the money. It's that simple. But here's what I know. It would be good for you to get around killers and also the training will train your, change your life. When you're here, you're going to meet my entire team. We are a freaking army. We are a, a group of killers. Hey, and Andy. I'm, yes, sir. Oh, here's, here's something else I'll do. <laughs> I just finished a, uh, uh, a I, I don't know how many pages it is, um, but it's basically how to build a personal brand from scratch. So I don't care if you have zero followers, but if you want a million followers, I'm going to ultimately bring this book. I'll bring a book or, or I'll send you the e-file. I'll email it to you, but I'll send you a book that literally has step-by-step -step exactly how to build a personal brand to the size like you wouldn't believe. So, I mean, that alone, by the way, I always do it downstairs at my office, my headquarters. It's $6,000 to, to go through that shit for one day. It's $6,000 to come learn that shit. I'm going to give it to anybody who attends. So anybody who attends is going to get my how to build a personal brand, $6,000 program. I will give it to you absolutely free. And by the way, it is literally step by step, every little thing, how to start a podcast. All of the things I did to build my brand is, 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 in, a, is in a document now, laying it out. So again, you guys, you have no idea how valuable a personal brand is. It's unbelievable. If I were you guys, whether you come to this thing or not, or whether you get my book or not, if I were you, I'd be doing everything I could to figure out how to build that personal brand. Listen, I'm walking through airports. People run up, want pictures with me, say they've seen me on TV. And I'm like, I ain't on TV, dipshit. What are you talking about? They're like, well, you know, social media. Guys, social media is the new TV. And you guys, you guys have a TV station, a broadcast station right in your hand called the cell phone. This is a broadcasting station and you're not using it. And if you are using it and nobody knows who you are, you're doing it wrong. So again, just so you know, that's $6,000 value, but, but I'm only giving it to people who actually attend. Yeah. By the way, Brad, I looked at my social media this morning. I want to tell you what Brad means. 
in the last 30 days on Instagram, my account has reached 5.4 million people. Now I can't imagine what his is like, you know what I'm saying? But mine's 5.4 million. You know who taught me that? Brad. I swear to God, dude, we're going to ruin the value of money for you guys. I hope you guys learned something today before we get off. Hey, I hope that you guys understand that your life tomorrow will be shaped by the decisions you make today. Okay. You're worth it. You're qualified. I swear to God, there's nobody crazier than us. that's going to help you learn. You need to be at this event. Okay. The Spartan helmets, the VIP are just coming in the room at the 1997. It's totally cool. It's easy, easy, 1997 or 3998. By the way, everybody do me a favor. Everybody get your phones out. I want you to screenshot this training this morning, okay? And for those of you that are coming to the event, tag Bradley, tag me and say, hey, I'm going to this event June 10th. I'm gonna kick ass with Bradley, Andy Elliott, and the fucking killers. And guess what? I'm going to war. I'm changing my life. I'm gonna get my shit. I'm gonna kick this world's ass. Okay, call your shot. Okay, I want you to tag us. And for those of you that for some reason aren't going, I know that some of you have things going on. I adjust my life to get what I want. It is my life. I'm in control of it. I do whatever the hell I want. Oh man, I've got something going on that day. Move it. Who gives a shit? (laughs) Move it. Okay, so I love you guys, but tag us. Have a blessed day. I'll see everybody June 10th. See you guys. Thanks, Brad. Peace. Appreciate it.